Alabama became the latest state to allow people to carry concealed guns without a state permit that requires a background check. And although you can still choose to get a permit if you want to, there are certain types of property that have to be licensed like your pets, for example. Our Nixon Norman has more. Nixon, tell us all about it. Kanisha, now I know owning a gun and owning a pet are two completely different things, but there's one that you have to have a license for, your pet. A Huntsville resident brought this up on a social news site, Reddit, and I did some digging to find out more about these pet licenses. Our pets clearly take up space in our hearts and homes. But our pets, like most forms of property, are subject to federal, state, and local laws. And laws dealing with the regulation of pet ownership usually fall at the local level. One Reddit user and North Alabama resident found this out, stating apparently getting our dog shots triggered someone reporting us to county animal control. They've sent me a letter requiring an animal license under the Madison County Ordinance 88-424. This user did some digging and so did we. The Madison County wide mandatory licensing program provides regulation of pet animals by requiring annual vaccination and registration of dogs and cats three months of age or older and by requiring pet animals to be tagged. The same goes for the city of Huntsville, located inside of Madison County. There, pets are required to be licensed after four months of age. These regulations on pets are put in place mainly due to public safety. Keeping up with the pets in an area can cut down on local health issues, such as rabies and, quote, dangerous dogs or animals. Dangerous is defined differently in different ordinances. Licensing fees range from $3 for spayed and neutered cats and dogs to $35 for a lifetime license. These small fees also serve a purpose. A rep from the local nonprofit, A New Leash on Life, said, I think it's great to have an animal control department for the county. The small cost of the license is to offset the cost of the service. Counties with no animal control have a lot of suffering animals on their streets. So yes, if you live in Huntsville or Madison County, your pet must be licensed. Really, though, the primary public health concern is to prevent people from developing rabies after a possible exposure. Any bite or scratch from an animal should be checked by a physician and reported to the county health department. Back to you guys.